Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. Hello. Hello. Um. Oh right, we came back to Ezra. We've got bananas. We and an artifact, probably a grenade. Let's take a look. Sign a book. Reading grant. Oh. Uh, I think you mean spring-loaded leather moccasins. Oh, apparently. Well, I mean, we can literally throw those away. But they make me faster. They do make you faster, but they don't make you harder to kill. I guess. Mm. I guess technically. My, having, do my current boots make me harder to kill? Well, they give you armor. They give you AC. Can uh, I? Can you what? Can I? Yeah. Yep. You know. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh huh. Where are they? Uh, you don't know. Probably in miscellaneous or clothes. They're in clothes. They're in clothes. 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 Can you? Yeah, you can mod them. <laughs> uh, why we would do this, I have no idea. But uh, it, it, something worth noting is that Spring Loaded here is a mod. Um, so the, the takeaway, if you need one, is that Spring Loaded can be applied to your armor boots. Can armor I, boots. I can't learn it from that. I could mm -hmm. learn... Yeah, unfortunately not. I wish that was something we that you could do. You can't even, not even with psychometry, can you learn how to make modifications? Um, I feel mm. like if you could, maybe psychometry would be too overpowered in the eyes of the Caves of Cud devs, but, um, you know, it's it's fine. It should be like a, a tinker skill or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Good idea for not a like mod. A not like a guaranteed learning a mod, but like, I don't know. 50% chance of learning a mod with psycho bananas. Yeah. There's there's so much potential for this game to still. Like, I want to be able to make robots in the future and, like, outfit right. them with cybernetics. All right. So um, something we can do. We, we, we were going to potentially go back to that uh, Gutsmonger and then try our banana recipe, but I guess we should wait till we have... Um, we are inspired. I, I'm assuming, yeah, we don't have the delegates yet for Asphodel. Um, I can't, is it Asphodel or Ashfodel? I can never remember. Ah, yeah, Asphodel. As, Asphodel. 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 Yeah, I, and I'm not seeing the delegate. Oh, actually, there is a robot there. So, oh, yeah, and a bird. Okay, yeah, they are here. That was fast. So, you do like have your delegates. Days. So fast in this game. They happen quickly when you do traveling in the overworld. Um, okay, so we are can, we are doing the next part of this quest. Are but, they going to leave? Well, I mean, we don't have to do it, I suppose, but there's not really any... This next part is actually quite tame. Uh, it's, it's fun. I love this part. Um, but it's not really combat oriented unless you want it to be there's a there's, you'll see Are you ready? Are you ready? So. Uh. I don't I okay, honestly uh, don't know to, just to recap. Do you know what's happening here? Uh, we want the tower we, the yes. flower has the tower yes and in order to uh, release basically ownership of it or or give um lease it to the barathermites uh, asphodel has demanded that we um do a, a basically kind of a weird ritual um you have invited four delegates uh of factions that you are on good terms with um very good terms with and it's important for the ritual uh, and you'll see why but um you you know, you're on good terms with birds apparently um, Barathermites is an obvious one, and uh, I think farmers, I don't know, merchants maybe. But uh, right. so you have one member of all of those factions here now, and now we're ready to begin the ritual, and you'll see uh, just how zany things are going to get. All right. First council. The first council of Ammonborke has begun. Choose how to appease as feudal. Share the burden across all allies. Share the burden between two allies. Share one, spare one faction. Oh, I could sacrifice someone. Um, 
Plus, look, check that one out. The boon you get from the third one, Faction Heirloom. That's where that book comes in handy. So if you like wanted to be really strategic in Cud, you could uh, look through that book and see if there's like a specific boon you really want. And then uh, this is one of the opportunities to get that boon. Mm. But um, yeah, you might have seen that fourth option there. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> This is, I don't necessarily recommend it on your first go about here. Um, it's fun. I won't say it's basically uh, the chaos spiel is the equivalent of, uh, if you've watched the boondocks, right? Yes. It's, it's the equivalent of throwing a, a folding chair, <laughs> mm. um, and invoking a riot. <laughs> It's it's great, uh, but it will a hundred percent piss off Asphodel um, because you've ruined his rep, his his uh, ritual, and uh, he and his flower cronies will aggro hard on you. So, but I I get a lot of rep with some highly entropic beings, which is uh, actually pretty good for a number of kind of meta gaming reasons, um, but. Uh, not necessarily make or break the third option is uh, is something i usually consider um if there's like you know for instance if you don't care about birds and uh, no offense uh to to <laughs> one of my viewers but uh, i i don't so like that's something we could sacrifice um the first one is the most tame for sure What are you feeling? I mean, I'm... I'm gonna take the boring one, I guess, because I don't understand what heirloom, heirloom I would get, even. Well, you'd get to pick. Because you, you're, you're picking would the, it, the faction. Would it tell me? Uh, oh, well, no. Uh, if we wanted to, if you really wanted to figure that, that out, we could. Right. We, we'd go and look at that book, which I think we still have on us. Or did Maybe. we leave it at the six day stilt? Mm, I don't recall. Do you want to do you want to do the legwork? I've never really bothered, but I, I'm game if you are. No, I guess I'll do the thing that doesn't make anyone too mad at me. OK, that's not a bad option at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tough one. I'm all I'm always tempted by chaos. Um <laughs> you can uh, do it if you want. It, invoking it on your first run would make someone happy out there. Yeah. Uh, Go for it. Well, no, I'm going to I'm going <laughs> to The pack is struck. This the pack the struck. Oh, one of our one of our delegates was from Kyakukya. Birds. Villagers of Jopa. It's probably the farmer. Barathermites. That's it. Only three? I thought we needed four. I guess not. Only three. Alright. You've done it. Secure the spindle. Congratulations. Hey. This is fine. This is fine. There's your chromling. It's always uh, chromlings are for some reason tend to always be the delegate for the Barathamites. Wait, where is that wood sprog? I don't even see them. Uh, under under the bird. I uh, think. Okay, so you do have four? I don't know. Jopa, Kyokyuka, Birds, and Barathermites. Yeah, you have four. Okay. All right. So um, do you want to recoil back to Great Gate, or do we want to do some stuff first? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you made me buy a bunch of bananas. We should probably do some with them. All right. Um, why don't we head back to that workshop and see if we can't suss out their cybernetics? 
That could be fun. It's well, um, it's the uh, arrow in the probably in the grove. Yeah, that's the one. I was thinking the grove, but no, you're right. It was in the jungle. All right. Uh, I think the gutsmonger is downstairs. Oh no, they're on this screen. Okay, so let's go to our campfire. Or the million ovens. Yeah, or one of those. <laughs> Amazing. We walked through some dreadroot tuber and it complicated things. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cook with dried bananas, uh, sun dried bananas, and um, vine wafer sheaf. I would usually recommend waiting till we're inspired, but we have, we do have so many bananas that it really doesn't matter if we I'm gonna waste preserve some. my fresh foods. Yeah, you can do that. Get some more bananas. I wish we got more servings of banana from the sun dried bananas. I think we used to get two, but I don't know. I don't think we don't anymore. So. All right. This list is so long now. Oh, you don't even know. Dude. Undried banana. Yeah. Vine wafer sheaf. Yep. And no that's third it. ingredient. No third ingredient. That'll only complicate things. Dream smoke. <laughs> yeah. Every time you dream of an animal, you will maybe identify some water. There we go. That's the one we want. Whenever mm -hmm. you drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance you identify all artifacts on the local map. So now, okay. start drinking. Glug, glug. And uh, so, yeah, my friend um, Narf, uh, also a, a dev on Caves of Cud, um, clued me in on this one. Is uh, This is a really good um, recipe when you are when there's a ton of merchants basically or even one merchant with a ton of artifacts that you want to know uh cybernetics is a great example of this because they will tell you uh oh they will identify those for you but it's super expensive when you're talking about like artifacts that are like above the 1000 dram um like sale um then they'll start charging like 70 drams to identify those so this is a great recipe for just like shortcutting through all of that yeah you do I'm gonna it. vomit that's fine dude, dude, vomiting there's no there's no problem there will i know if i've identified everything unfortunately what? no so just like do it a few times and then we'll go and check the gutsmonger and see well, if we might as well go to the gutsmonger yeah there is that um gutsmongers will identify things for you if you you know don't want to do this but this is also a good recipe for things like six shrew who won't identify artifacts for you and so you can can figure out what yeah uh, so not yet not yet live and drink my dude live and drink you can keep your unidentified trinkets I do wish there was a shortcut key to just drink. I just mash that button. We did it. Ah. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, so Skillsoft Cudgel is interesting. Aren't I already proficient in Cudgel? I don't know if we have all of the skills, and that would give... Wait, is, wait, is it a master or... Or I guess it's skill soft. I'm not sure if that gives us the whole tree or just one. Yeah, okay, it would just give us proficiency. So yeah, you're right. Um, empty the clips doesn't matter. Security interlock is kind of interesting. That would let us basically bypass any door. Um, I don't know what reactive cranial plating is. That's an interesting one. Cannot be dazed or stunned. That's actually really good. That is amazing. But that's going to take away my night vision. You're, well, no, not necessarily. Night vision takes your face slot. Um, reactive cranial plating will take your head slot. Oh. I believe that's true. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Well, it's cheap-ish. It is cheap. Um, how do you feel about hand bones? 
They're connected to the wrist bones. They are. Oh. Jesus Christ. I really walked into that one, didn't I? Um, so hand bones are one of my favorite cybernetics. Uh, we are a cudgel build, so it will synergize. Um, and uh, having like, uh, y using hand bones as your primary weapon is so good because it basically infinitely scales penetration wise. The only thing that holds you back is your strength at that point. Crystal hand bones are fantastic. Like we would be upgrading uh, by a large margin to to a like a higher tier weapon. Um, mm. If there's a chance we could buy them, I would recommend it. But I don't want to necessarily disturb your aesthetic. If you would prefer to just continue using cudgel weapons. Um. Oh, so I can. I, it's either punch or, or cudgel. It's not. Well, you could still use cudgels, but it, if you have crystal hand bones, there'd be no point. Because right. you, you just have a better weapon at all times. And in fact, even if you got a crystal cudgel, um, your hand bones will still be better because they will scale higher than uh, a crystal weapon would. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Um <laughs> The, uh, the price of these things is definitely going to hold us back. Like, I, I would throw the grenade launcher at this, but I know that you want to you want to try it first, probably. I don't have the the banana food thing, right? The banana food thing. Like, I can't learn grenade launcher, and then I've got it in my. Uh, you don't currently, but you could. That's not a bad idea. And then I wouldn't. I would know it. Yeah. Yeah, that's an well, option. It's not that let's... expensive to make. Yeah, you, you've already identified all the artifacts here, so keeping your recipe isn't vital. Um, it's not a bad idea at all. I like that idea. Is there another gutsmonger, or was it just the one guy? Just the one guy. But um, I I'm glad we did this because crystal hand bones is like, I mean. He, even just having the option is really nice. Is it just banana? Is it just one banana? It is just one banana. Why am I keeping it? Yeah. Yay. We even got level two, so we might have a better chance of learning. I think the grenade launcher will be okay. I don't think it'll be too complicated for us. Be in, uh, yeah, missile launcher. Or missile weapons. There we go. Nice. Okay. Is there anything else I need to learn? I feel like I've... Uh, let's have a quick look at your tonics. That's the only one that I can... Just say, can we do like a quick check that you've Oop. learned all your tonics? I, I know don't we... see anything new. Okay. All so right. I don't... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I think we're good. Uh, what about grenades? Is there any grenades that we need to learn? Grenades. Grenades. Um, time dilation. Do we know that one? I think I probably asked you to buy the data disk for that one. Yeah, I think we bought that one. It's a good one um, to to have. I wish we had mm. di um, time dilation grenade Mark One because I don't know how much better Mark Two is really. I'm a, I'm a huge advocate of using Mark One grenades because they're cheaper and they still get the job done. Mark Three, Two, and Three are get really expensive. Yeah, I think we know all of our stuff. All right. Mm. Oh wait a minute. Oh, uh, <sighs> go to your equipment. Mm, my equipment. Yeah. Uh. Oh, shoot. Where is your fidget cell? Did you unequip it? I'm sorry? Your fidget cell. Yeah, you told me to unequip it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I did. Is it you in your cells? You put Sand back on. Well, it, it would go on your uh... 
be, it would you be an have me put source. it in my hand. Oh. Did I? Oh. Okay, never mind. I think we probably disassembled it instantly. <laughs> it's like, all right, novelty over. I think that's what happened. I think you said we did the thing. Yeah. We're good now. Oh, solar cells are really valuable for some reason. Okay. Um. I think we're good. So you know how to make grenade launcher. Yeah. Leo Leuncher. Okay. Um so we can sell that. I I don't think we're going to have enough unfortunately. You know how to make thermal cells? Did I have you do that? Yeah, maybe. I know we have biodynamic cells. Okay, okay. But, uh... Let's get our goal up here. Um... I mean, the grenade launcher was like half of it. Uh, it's 300. Gold key is 140. Okay, yeah, that's good. We can't sell the cybernetics credit wedge. One thing we do have to keep. So that dagger, I know it's not a lot, but it's still close to 100. We can sell that um, steel buckler. I understand we're selling a solar cell there, but it's fine. We, we're going to have to, we're going to, we're really scraping the barrel for this one. Uh, oh, yeah, we have some Jasper. Let's let's throw that at it. That's going to pretty much get a... Us. Yeah. We're very close at the very least. We still we also want reactive um, cranial. Well, let's sell our cider. Let's like do you sell uh, like the twenty drams, and keep two. Can always get more cider. Cider isn't super rare. Um. Okay. So now we got. So you also want this thing? Yeah, I mean that's one of the better head. Uh, I see. It is crazy. Um, so, oh, let's sell this drop of nectar. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why don't we sell a few books? I know it sucks, but I, I nylon think body pack. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Throw that at it. I, I like the nylon body pack, but it's it's fine. Not using it you is actually good. Real hyped about getting crocusins, but. We do want to keep those, yeah. Those give you uh, unshelled reptile rep. There we go. All right. One, one water short. That's perfect. All right. Uh, all right. There you all go. right. Um. Let's go to Gritgate. Um, because they have a becoming nook. And also we can start to, or get our next quest. I kind of can't remember if uh, something very dramatic happens next. Um, I kind of hope it doesn't. I think, I think that maybe we have one more quest beat before the dramatic thing happens, the spoilery thing. All right. So you'll want to spend your credits I, th I think you only, yeah, you only have three, so you'll only be able to upgrade it once. Um, well, undoubtedly, we might have to uninstall something to get the hand bones. Not enough points. Shoot. Um, what do we currently have installed? Bionic heart. I think that's good, right? The penticeps are the really good thing. Oh, yeah, the bionic heart, um, I think it makes us immune to poison. Mm. Uh, that's not as good as not being a, being able to be dazed. So I might uninstall the bionic heart if it buys us enough license points for the crystal hand bones. Um, can we just go get more credits? We can, um... Here's, I guess where I am coming from, I don't think you lose the bionic heart by uninstalling it. Um, For sure. 
I'm pretty sure. So you could, if you can uh, install the crystal hand bones and then get more credits, you'll have a, just a better weapon um, to, to do that with. I so, oh, I mean, I guess that was worth quite a lot. I don't know how good the... Maybe I was wrong about Bionic Heart. Maybe it was better than I thought. We can install the hand bones at the very least. Oh, God, right. <laughs> we can uh, we can put the skin glitter somewhere else. I like how the skin glitter keeps getting shifted around. So we've, we've, we've strayed away slightly from uh, Batman and gone to Wolverine. We'll likely not have enough for the cranial implant, but we can do the skin glitter at the very least. I'm pretty sure it's only one point. Um, right arm? Right arm, right arm. Right arm. Or we put it in my head until we need to change that out. Yeah. All right. I'm, 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 I'm cool. Let's do it. <laughs> then no, you, uh... that's, that's silly. Come on. It's a silly thing and I won't do it. Okay. Can we have a quick reminder of what the bionic heart does? Because I'm a little worried now. Oh, right. Made me too tougher. Plus two toughness. Oh, that was good. Shoot. It's fine. Um, plus two toughness is nice. It, it That gives you more health. Um, but, uh, I think the crystal hand bones are worth it over that TBH. Um, okay. <clears throat> well, we can always put it back later and carry that heart around for a while. So, uh, important thing we need to do, uh, go to your equipment. And on equip your full right mall. I guess the one downside to crystal uh, or hand bones in general is you can't modify them. So if you were um, looking to to have you know modifications, then you're kind of stuck. But you know we can always undo this. This is fine. Well, there you go. Now you're just you're punching, and you can see that uh, nine pen to infinity, mm. and then three d four. Like the crystal fist is really nice. Mm. All right. Well, um, that was kind of exciting. Uh, not, I guess we'll in the next episode we'll we'll carry on in the next quest, and um, we'll we'll end it here. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And do it. And, and <laughs> comment about. Dumb, I don't know, bionic hearts. Yeah, uh, did we I mean, make a, a mistake? Fool. Yeah. Is bionic heart yeah. better than crystal hand bones? Let us know. What's your favorite mod? <laughs> what mod should we be looking for? Yeah, what's the best cybernetic? <laughs>